What is up YouTube and welcome back to another fun video guys today we are looking in the silver melt bin uh, Most of your local coin shops are gonna have one of these and it's where they put all the the silver That's not like coins and stuff that they're gonna melt down and you can see it's pretty full Here is a salt and pepper shaker. It's just missing the top to it, but that's gonna be solid sterling silver They've got bracelets in here. Uh, there was a ton of jewelry in it this time and you can find some really good deals look at these little bracelets right here these things are really delicate kind of like a lady's uh, bracelet kind of like a tennis bracelet I guess uh, really nice clasps anything with really nice uh, heavy-duty clasps like that is generally uh, pretty sought after for jewelry wise and this this pendant right here has been in here forever uh, let's see, I believe there's another bracelet. This one was pretty heavy, probably around four ounces, if I had to guess. It's a nice piece. Let's see what else we have here. We have, oh, this little necklace right here is an eagle pendant. And it's hard to tell from this side, but when you flip it over, boom, there you go. There's the eagle right there. And it comes with a chain. A lot of little chains in here, as you can see. Just little bits and pieces, a lot of broken jewelry will go in there. Make sure when you're looking at stuff like this bracelet right here, there's another nice, really nice bracelet. Make sure to, to inspect them before you buy because uh, sometimes they can be broken. Th these were not broken, however. These were really nice pieces. And uh, you'll see there's three different bracelets that I look at that I really thought about buying. There's a nice little band got uh, some more little rings down here. Tons of rings today as well. Uh, there's a little bracelet right there. Let's see what else we got here. There's another nice little ring. That's a nice chunky ring right there. It looks like a, almost like a spoon ring that they would make out of silverware. A uh, little kind of like a wedding band style ring right there. And some of them are actually sized Usually they don't, they're not sized, uh, but you can usually talk to uh, your local coin shop. A lot of times they will have a ring sizer at the coin shop as well. Lots of little rings and stuff in here, a little band right there. And let's see what else we have in here. Just some random crazy chains. Oh, now this ring was really cool. Kind of like an Art Nouveau style. You can see a lady's uh, body basically uh, and her hair is like holding the jewel that's in the uh, ring this bag right here guys I was pretty impressed by this there's a ton of little pieces of jewelry inside there are a lot of pens a lot of rings uh, cufflinks all sorts of stuff little pendants you can kind of see in there there's just so much stuff I didn't want to take it out of the bag uh, but there's all sorts of little pendants and stuff in there. I feel very confident that if had I purchased that, I could probably have flipped all that stuff uh, piece by piece on eBay or someplace and probably made a, a nice bit of money. Uh, let's see what else we had here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this bracelet was so cool, guys. This thing was early. I could tell this is almost like it felt like it was almost Victorian, but I'm not sure about it. Uh, this bracelet was broken, kind of a little bangle bracelet. This one was really cool. It had like a spring. It, when you opened it up, it goes around your wrist. Uh, there's a little pendant right there, a little pen right there. But that, uh, I kept going back to that, I think it's like Tibetan silver, possibly, just by the design of it. It's super, super cool. Uh, they wanted extra money for that one, so I didn't end up buying it. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. And as always, happy hunting.